Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter, and I'm going to show you how I made my first design, my first project on the Glowforge Aura. I will say that this screen may look just slightly different going forward. Um, today, it's pre-launch, so uh, while I have access to everything, um, you might not see everything for the Aura. All right, but let's get started. So one of the first things that I knew I wanted to make was I wanted to start out with a basic project because it's not only my first project, it will also be my first project on YouTube. And so I sort of wanted to, and I hope you stay with me on this journey, is um, for you to see me develop as a Glowforge user. So I am, this is my first laser machine. Um, I have the Aura. It's brand new. It's launching tomorrow on July 25th. And so this is my first, you know, you're just gonna see me start out. I'm gonna start out with basic projects. So I'm gonna really get to know the machine and then I'm gonna unleash my inner useless crafting <laughs> and start making crazy projects. But in the meantime, I want you to learn with me and I hope you enjoy the ride. So, all right, first thing is, this is, um, you go to app.glowforge.com. I am in my account on the top right hand corner. It shows my machine. So my little, I call mine Baby G. So I have Baby G that comes with, um, I also have the filter attached to it. So I have it in my craft room, not next to a window. It's just where it's most convenient for me to have it. And so I love it. It's super light, um, both the Aura and the filter. I put it together 100% by myself. And uh, I just love that I was able to start cutting right away. So let's go look at the app. So first thing is you have, you'll notice you have some free designs up here. You can view them. You can also search for other designs that you may pay for. Then you have your recent designs. These are all the projects that I've been cutting. Um, so you can see I have fun things to show you ahead. But the first project right now is showing you just, just how to get started and cut your first project. And it is the softball baseball keychains. But you'll see I've got earrings in here. I've got some tools that you're going to want to have um, for having your Glowforge. Um, so you can search through and see all the things. I do have premium access, so anything, any project that you see, I can download and start using. So I'll show you something really quickly. Like, for instance, um, let's search for earring holders just to see all the ones that we can do. So you can search for something like that, or you could just start using their folders in here. Oops, did it not go? What happened? Oh, there. It would help if I hit enter, right? Okay, so these are all the different earring holders. Let's say you like this one, this honeycomb one, which I do like. Um, so once I click on it, because I do have the access, it automatically drops onto my my canvas. This is actually what you're seeing is the inside of my machine right now. I'm going to move this over for a minute. What I have in my machine right now is this. It's the light. Um, let me scroll in because I can't see myself. <laughs> the light best, uh, uh, basswood plywood. So the, I am using proof grade materials and proof grade just means that there it's from Glowforge. It's got a barcode. So as soon as I lift my lid, put it in and close the lid, my camera is activated. It scans, it knows what it, it shows what is inside my machine right now. And what's nice about that is, let me go back down to 100, is that on this sheet of plywood, um, I did already cut something out. So you could see exactly what it looks like so that when I go to put this, the individual items in, obviously I'm not gonna put something there, it's gonna cut right, there's nothing for it to cut, but I can put it right here. And you can see all your materials, these are all cut but I can go in here and I can change it. So I am using proof grade materials. And so you can change all the, you know, the speed and the power, how many passes, depending on how thick your material is. So it's nice that it's already in there, but you can see you don't have to use proof grade material. You can go in here and use whatever material that you can have. You wanna make sure that it's laser friendly um, and there are materials that you can and can't use. So, all right, I'm gonna select on here and go back, but you can engrave, cut, score, or you can ignore. So either it's not on the actual machine, the, you know, the plywood to cut, so it's off, um, 
or if you put it on and you want to ignore the holes you, or you want to ignore this, you would click on this and click on ignore. So you can see then, then it's, it's um, not on there to be cut. Okay, um, let's go back here for a second. Um, engrave versus score. So I tried both. Scoring is, um, is not as deep as engraving. So when I did the softball, baseball keychains, all the words and the names I did engrave. I tried score and score is just like a light line and I wanted to paint it and I want the paint to be in there so I engraved. So I will say so far all the projects that I've done I've been engraving and cutting. I haven't really scored all that much. All right so if you go and do a ready to make project basically um, you just drop it in and um, let's see it's invalid set. <sighs> So let me just move this out for a second. Um, you can just start going. You can anywhere that you see that there are open spaces. You can personalize it some more by adding a name. So for instance, let me just make this smaller for now so that you guys can see. So this will fit on here. But of course, if you, re if you resize this, you need to resize all the pieces that come with it, right? But I just want to resize it so it fits on here so that you can see it and then all you do is you click text and here are all your options for your fonts. So I'm just going to click one just so that I can. And my text, I'm going to put Charlotte because I put her name on everything. And here are all your choices. You can do, you can bold it, right? Um, you can change the size, your alignment if you have more that, you know, you can center it, uh, left indentations, right? Um, your spacing and then your style. Look at all the different styles that you can do. So this is kind of fun, right? Um, let's just say I want to do um, the straight one is probably the best on here, but let's just for for fun change this and we're gonna put it right here. So once you get it in the vicinity, it will sort of like you see all the little arrows, like it will center it for you and it kind of like locks down. So you can put it in, but then you can also use the arrows on your keyboard to change things around. And then what you want to do is you want to remember to go over here and figure out what you want to do, whether you want to engrave, cut, or score. I will say that on my on the first project, I forgot to change it and I ended up like engraving something and it was not what I wanted. I <laughs> So engraved the whole area, which was not. So just wanna, you know, it, I, and I've done it a few times. Just wanna make sure you go in every single time and change your settings. All right, so that was like the overall, just to give you that. But let's go and I always go back to my dashboard and let's create a new design. And here I'm going to upload a file. So very similar to, I always equate this to like the Cricut, right? You can upload any files you can design within the app. Uh, I'm going to upload the file. So when you go to upload, you're going to go to where you downloaded the file to, right? So I'm going to go to downloads and um, I'm going to go find my keychain. Oh my, hold on. Um, I know I've started doing a lot of things. So let's see. Oh, here we go. Um, baseball keychain. So I'm uploading, um, it's uploading, it's taking it in and it will put it into, onto your like space, right? Like onto your, um, what's already in the machine. So you've got a few items here. So they come in, a lot of times your files will come in grouped, right? I'm gonna take it off so you can kind of see what's all included. So when you click on, like I'm clicking on this one, if you right click on your mouse, I'm gonna ungroup it so that I can see everything. Let's see. So I've got the, um, the actual stitching of the baseball softball, right? So this one, when you click on it, you can see 
uh, that um, right now it's on engrave. So you could just click on it and I wanna cut, right? So I can see now the cut lines and I'm gonna make this bigger just for now so that you can see it. It's gonna cut all the way around and it's gonna look exactly like this piece here. The pieces that fall out, I mean, I have one right here, right? That's the inside, that's this piece right here. So that's just gonna fall out. So you've got this. Um, You've got this piece right here, which is the wood piece, and there's two versions of the keychain. So you could have this one, or let's ungroup this one. And you can see, I mean, I was shocked at how quickly I did, oops, let me undo that. So, and everything still works in here. Control Z, Control V, Control, you know, C, all of that. Um, it was, very easy to, I mean, I made mistakes, but I was able to cut right away and start working on this file. So on here, right now, you can scroll over here and you can see it's highlighted, it's this, it's engraved. So if I were to engrave it, what would happen is it would engrave everything that you see in blue. So it would basically scorch that whole piece, right? That's not what we want. We want to change this to cut and you'll see when it cuts, it's just gonna give me this cut line. It's gonna cut all the way around. So that's what happened to this baseball bat. It started to score that whole thing and there was so much, you know, it was a lot of smoke because it was, it was in there. <laughs> it was scoring every square inch of this bat, which was not what I wanted. Okay, so that's in there. This, um, I resized this if you remember. So I'm gonna, let's see. That looks about right. So I'm just gonna keep that here or I can go back and use this one. Okay, so on this, because it's the wood piece, we're not, this is acrylic, so I'm gonna show you exactly all the things that I did, right? So this is one, this is the other shape of the keychain that you can do. And this one is also engraved, so I'm gonna cut it. Oops, that's not the one I want. Okay, that's already cut. Okay, so I've got cut, um, I've got this. I'm going to put this back over because I want to put Softball Mama in there, right? So I'm going to click on text and I'm going to put Softball and then just, so here that is. And I'm going to make it smaller and it's going to be centered and then I'm going to add another text and do Mama. Oops, and go put it in the text. Now I can go back and look at this. This is 14, so I can change this to 14 as well. And I can I can see that it's centered because um, it's got like that locking mechanism on, so it's very easy to go in and center things. But if I want it closer, I'm gonna use my keyboard, the arrows, to get it where I want it to. So there is Softball Mama. So right now what I can do is I can grab Mama, hit the Shift key, grab Softball, and I can group these two. Oops, hold on, let me move this out of the way. I can grab these two and group them. And put this back. And that's centered, right? Softball Mama is engraved, perfect. So now I can move this out of the way. I can grab these two items and I can group it or not, I'm gonna group it because I'm, I'm still looking to see like, you know, how many things I'm gonna cut and it's just easier to group it for me. So I'm grouping it and then I'm gonna twirl this over because this little guy is sticking up and I don't want, I don't wanna take into account for it up here because I'm gonna put these two next to each other like this. Um, or move it over just a little bit, okay. So I've got that, then I've got the bat. That's the other wood item. This is acrylic. These two items are acrylic. These are just extras if you wanted to do something with it. 
if you wanted to do just the stitching around. Maybe you don't want to do a softball mama. Maybe it's just a keychain that says and bam or they use this crafter, right? And you want that detail, that's what these are for. So it's nice to have all these options on the keychain. All right, I'm gonna move that aside. Let's look at this. So with the bat, I'm gonna ungroup it for a second because there are two layers in here. So there's the inside of the bat. So this one, I wanna engrave, yes. This one, I don't wanna engrave. I wanna cut this one because that's gonna be my bat and I wanna cut it all the way around. So I can do this now, and I can group these two back together. So the inside line is stitching, the keyhole ring is cut so that I can have a full cut, it's gonna go through the wood, and then it's gonna cut out the bat. Then what I can do is I can add the text, right? And this is where you would put the names of all the kids. So I'm gonna do Charlotte, and I'm gonna make it much smaller. I don't even know what I wanna make it right now. So I'm gonna put it here. Um, I can make it bigger. It still fits. Let's see if I can go up to 18. Okay, 18 looks like it's, uh, 18 actually looks pretty perfect. So I have uh, Charlotte and I just wanna make sure that Charlotte, oh, Charlotte is engraved, so it's perfect. So this is also the order that it will cut in. So it will do Charlotte first, then it will do Mama softball, then it will cut, uh, it will engrave, which one is this? Oh, that's these over here. Um, so we'll ignore, I'll do the bat next. So this is the order. You can move these around. Um, for me, this, this so far, the order of how it's being done hasn't quite affected me. I haven't had, it, it doesn't matter to me in what order. Um, I haven't run across an instance where it needs to uh, be in a particular order, but that's what this is. So I can delete all of these because I don't need it for now, and I can just cut this. You can rename this up here. So this is just, you know, wood softball keychains if you wanted to that's how it's going to be seen in your projects area okay so now that if i'm ready with this what you can do is um you can right click on it copy right and paste oops uh, why is it not pasting hold on know why it doesn't want to paste right now I think it's it's a user error I don't know what's going on with my keyboard but you can see I have another bat and I can change the name and you can do this oops hold on. this is why I like to group things because I I hate picking one one thing up and thinking that I have everything so I'm just gonna right click and group it. So now I can move all this together. You can center this, you can move, you know, obviously you can do more to it before you um, group it. But um, some things that you can do, when I did eight of these or however many keychains I did, I did it like this so that it's grouped really close together um, or you can grab these two and maybe do it right here. You can really move things around. You can see where the open spaces are. You can see what your canvas is basically. And then when you go to print, you're actually not printing. What you're doing is you're activating the machine, the camera. It's going to go right now. I don't know if you can hear it, but it's going to see, it's going to try to pick up any proof grade materials. And then it will tell you, um, based on this, how long it's going to take to cut this and engrave this and be done with the whole project on this wood, on what is on the canvas. So, um, once this is working, once it's ready, what will happen is if you look over to your machine, the little button to press, you know, basically go, um, it will be lit and blinking. If you also have, if you also purchase the filter, which I have and I love, I love 
not having to figure out my window situation and the venting to outside. So um, then what will happen is when this is ready, so right now if I look over, my Glowforge light is blinking, a slow blink to let me know it's, you know, it's ready to cut. And then my filter that's connected to my Glowforge Aura is also blinking. The funny, the funny thing is that the filter has no on and off button. If it's plugged in, it's synced with your Aura and it knows. So it is together tandem. It's, it's a bundle deal. Uh, they act together and I love it. So once I'm ready, um, if I click print here, it doesn't do anything. I have to go to the machine. So I'm clicking it just so that you know, right? Nothing's going on. If I go to the machine and hit the go button, it will start to cut my, um, the machine will start to cut and the filter will, will start and you can hear it. It sounds like a vacuum cleaner running uh, in another room. That's, that's what I've been equating it to. But that is the first project and what you make is, let me pull out my cute little keychain. It's so cute. I added all the little fun things from Amazon. It's all on my Amazon shop so that you can get the glue and all of that. I also have the assembly version of this so that you know how to paint and how to glue and how to put it all together. So I am, I'm going to be there for you. This is my Glowforge journey and I'm super excited to be on it, to be creating projects for Glowforge and um, just having another machine to really be creative with, with different materials. Um, I'm excited about it. Catch my next video on all the materials it can cut and all that good stuff. Stay here for all the details. Post your comments and questions and I can answer them or possibly do another video specifically to address your questions. But that is how easy it was to use it. I cut my project um, the next morning because I set it up at night. Did you know? I was extremely pleased that I was able to set it all up all by myself and ran into no issues. So I just ended on a good note. It was late at night, woke up the next morning, fired up this project and made, I've got, I don't know, like 10 keychains on my desk. So, um, I hope that you enjoyed it as well. The first two weeks, it's available at Michael's and Joann's exclusively. And after the two weeks, um, come back if you haven't bought it yet. And you can buy it through Glowforge using my link. And I would appreciate all the support that I can get using any of my affiliate links. So, all right. If there's a project that you want to see, let me know. Um, again, comments, questions, I'm here for it. See you. <laughs>